Hello everyone, this is Andrew again and now we're going to discuss PLC programming basic symbols for discrete coils and contacts. First of all, let's define some terms. One of the terms is discrete. When we say discrete, it is the type of data that deals with Boolean variable. When we say Boolean variable, it means 1 or 0, true or false, or on and off. Next, we have contact. It reads the bit status on the PLC memory. And we have the coil. It writes the bit status on PLC memory. And these are all the symbols that we're going to discuss to our lesson for today. Let's start with normally open. For normally open contact, monitor if the value of the bit is true, contact is close or true, if the bit is true this is the symbol for normally open the function of this one is like the normally open switch next we have the normally close monitor if the value of the bit is false contact is true or close if the bit is false and this is the symbol for normally close it is also equivalent to the normally closed switch. And we have the normal coil. Write a boolean value, true or on, to PLC memory bit if it receives true. Write boolean value, false or off, to PLC memory bit if it receives false. And this is the symbol. We have different symbol depends on the brand of the PLC and let's have our example we have x0 and y0 which is initially off then if the switch at x0 is closed x0 will be energized then that will make y0 to energize also and that will make Y0 here, or the lamp will turn on. Then after that, let's try to open the switch. And that will make X0 to turn off. And this one will cause Y0 to turn off also. And this is the status chart, as you can see here. If X0 is on, Y0 is on. If X0 is off, Y0 is off. Next example, we have X0 at normally close. And we have normal coil here. Because X0 is normally close, it is initially energized. And that will cause Y0 to turn on. And that will make the lamp at Y0 to turn on. Okay, here X0 is initially off, but Y0 is initially on. When we close the switch at X0, it will energize X0. And that will make X0 to turn on. And because X0 is now turned on, a normally closed contact will be open. And that will cause Y0 to turn off. And the lamp will turn off here. Then, when we open the switch, X0 will be deactivated. And that will make normally close X0 to be energized again. And that will cause Y0 to turn on. And Y0 will turn on. As you can see here in status chart, if X0 is on, Y0 is off. If X0 is off, Y0 is on. Next, we have shot rise. Monitor if the value of the bit changes from false to true. 
contact is true or close if the bit changes from false to true. Okay, this might be a little confusing but uh, we will discuss it. By the way, these are the other names for shot rice for different plants of PLCs. And these are the symbols for different plants of PLCs. And to understand more about shot rice, let's have our example. Initially, X0 is off, M0 is off also. Let's turn on X0. And at this point, open to close event occur. Or from off to on. Here, false to true or off to on. This is the event that the description is referring to. It means at this event, M0 will be turned on. And here, X0 remains on. It is not an off to on event anymore. That's why M0 will turn off. Let's try to turn off X0. Then, let's try to turn it on again. An on to off event occurs again. And during this event, that's the only time that M0 will be triggered. And here, because X0 remains on, it is not an on to off event anymore. That's why M0 here is off. And that's how a shot trace works. Next, shot fall. Monitor if the value of the bit changes from true to false. Contact is true or close if the bit changes from true to false. And by the way, these are the different names of shot fall depending on the brand. And these are the symbols for shot fall depending on the brand. Now let's discuss what is a shot fall. A shot fall is actually the reverse of the shot rise. Let's start. Initially, X0 is off. M0 is also off. Now, let's turn on X0. Then, this is the region where X0 remains on. And after that, let's turn off X0. And the close to open event occur or on to off. And this is the event that this description is referring to. And this is the only event that M0 will turn on. And here, because X0 remains off, this is not an on to off event anymore. That's why it will turn off. Then let's try to turn on X0 again. Okay, this is the on region. Then let's turn off X0. And an on to off event occur again. And that will make M0 to turn on again. And because this region is off. And not on to off event anymore. M0 will turn off. Negated coil. Write a boolean value true or on to PLC memory bit if it receives false. Write boolean value false or off to PLC memory bit if it receives true. This is the symbol depending on the brand. It's just like the counterpart of normally close contact. Let's have our example. Y0 is initially on because it is negated. X0 is off. Then when we turn on X0, Y0 will turn off. Then, when we turn off X0, Y0 will turn on. Okay, that's it. Next, we have set coil. 
write boolean value true or on to plc memory bit after it receives boolean value true reset write boolean value false to plc memory bit after it receives boolean value true this is the different symbol for set and reset depending on the brand and let's have an example x0 x1 and y0 is initially off then when i turn on x0 y0 will turn on and as you can see here y0 remains turned on even if x0 is turned off already then when we press x0 it will energize the reset coil and that will make y0 to turn off let's turn on x0 again that will make y0 to turn on y0 will remain turn on even if x0 is off then by pressing x0 y0 will be reset and that will cause y0 to turn off and that's how to use set and reset and when you're doing a program when we use set you always have a reset to turn off the coil please subscribe to my youtube channel please click the notification bell to notify you for new video please uh, like and share my youtube videos and please like my facebook page the gizgon mechatronics engineering skills tips tricks and learning and please click see first on facebook to notify you for new posts and uh, Thank you again. See you next time.